What is up guys, it's Bob Guy, and we're playing some more $10 Gauntlet. It is Angel Reanimator versus Kiki Jiki Combo. I will go first, I'm on Angel Reanimator. And I think this is a keepable hand, although I'm not sure it's particularly good, but could win. Um, she has pretty good interaction, which is a little scary for my deck. She might just mana leak my stuff and things like that. We're going to start off with a Faithless Looting. This little port cutthroat we could play for three, but it might be discard fodder here. I think actually I'm gonna go Golgari Thug and Angel. Pass turn. I don't think I am in uh dredge territory yet. Hopefully I'll draw another good thing to discard so I can Cathartic Reunion. Tormenting Voice is also an option next turn. I really want one more land before I start dredging. I'm at three. I mean dredging could get me to a Dakmore salvage, which is one argument I could see two dredge here. Plus it would give me another thing to discard the third reunion. So maybe it's fine actually. I, I think I sold myself. It gives me another thing to discard the third reunion and potentially gives me a deck more salvage in the graveyard. It didn't actually, but it could have. Alright. Um well third reunion, ditch these two. I think I don't dredge yet, so I want to get one more land, and then now that I have a land, I can start dredging. Boop. Pass turn. So let's, can I pop out my Gnivia here? Maybe that'll let us uh, see better what I got in there. Oop. Well, not quite that big, and also I can't see the top of it. Uh, kind of a big problem. Don't know if there's any way to... Oh, there we go. It popped down finally. It was like, its top is in a place where I can't get to. Alright, well, let's uh, Signet. So we have an Angel, we have a Cartel of Iscocrat, we have a Golgari Thug. Oh, that doesn't matter. We have a Zulpert Cutthroat. So I need the Fiend Hunter and a Reanimate spell. And then we're golden. So we're about halfway there, we have Tormenting Voice this turn if we want it, or Faithless Looting, whichever we prefer. I'm not sure yet which we prefer. We also have two Dredgers in here. We're going to start by Dredging a Golgari Thug. I think I'm going to Tormenting Voice, and maybe if I, because I could hit a Faithless Looting off it, although it's not, no, I guess I can't because I'm going to Dredge twice. I don't know, they're basically the same thing. At that point, because I'm going to dredge twice either way. This, I guess, guarantees two Golgari Thugs instead of hitting a Dakmore Salvage, which might be slightly better. Uh, Stinkweed. Oh, there are two Stinkweeds in already. All right, Stinkweed. Stinkweed. And still no sign of the one we really want. All right, past turn. We don't have a one mana spell here. Well, if we're trying to hit turn four, we got one more dredge to do it. But we're still. Uh, we could also just do a value reanimate and get quite a bit of damage and triggers. Especially if she taps out, I can see that being worth it. No more stinkweeds in there. We're a little halfway through, a little over halfway through the deck. We do have a Golgari Thug right there to grab. Passes turn. I kind of think that might mean there's a com there's a uh, counter spell up, but I don't know if I can really afford to play around it either. I do have the full combo in my graveyard now. Well, I guess I'll try it and then get it countered. Oh, she didn't counter it. I will use this here. Let's pop this back over. I don't really need to see it right now.
Right, well, we won game one. What do we want game two? Um, duress could be useful to... Fragmentize could be useful to stop graveyard hate. Duress could be useful to stop... Um, counter spells. And, and potentially give it. I'm going to go up to Duress, and then what do I go down? I'll go Gary Thug and a Tormenting Voice. Let's try that. Maybe even. I could go up all three Duress. What would I go down though? Another Tormenting Voice? Yeah let's, yeah, let's actually do that. I think that's probably good. Battle of the Janky Combo Decks. Well, this one's the Janky one. The other one's not actually quite as Janky. Maybe I should bring in the lightning bolts to stop. I think it only stops Pester might. I guess it stops uh, Kiki Jiki too. Uh, maybe I should have put that in and kept it up. I guess if I get beaten by it here, I might do that. Um, this is pretty crappy, but I think I'm going to keep I and mean, have a land and a faithless looting at least. And tormenting voice turn two as long as I find the land and I get four draws at it. One normally, two from Faithless Looting, and then one normally on my next turn before I need a second land. And then four draws, the favor is on my, you know, the, the probability is on my side for getting a second land. And if I get a second land, I can Tormenting Voice and have a probability of hitting a third land. So, I mean, not totally great, not totally optimal, but I think it's it's fine. Right, battlefield tests. Hey, we got a land. Perfect. Faithless looting. You also could use a dredger at some point. Dakmore salvage is technically a dredger. Maybe I do just want to. No, no, I'm gonna put all the combo pieces in the graveyard first. I think that I have. I don't know, next turn it could be reasonable to do Dakmore Salvage. And then just redraw it as my turn three play. Is it soon it? Second Fiend Hunter. Well now I'm gonna need to discard that eventually. Uh I guess I will discard it here. Okay. Well, now I have a good dredger. Got a bunch of stuff in hand I need to discard, but I can't. I mean, unless I top deck a land, I won't be able to do it next turn, but I'll be able to do it the turn after that with Faithless Looting. Hopefully, draw me to my last land and get Angel in the graveyard and maybe Stinkly. Draw. Hey, I got another. This time it's an untapped land. Well, I guess I play that here. Well, it still slows me down unless I get another land, I guess. But let's do that so I can Faithless Looting. Get to draw two. Well, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. Puts me two turns out. I, I could dump both combo pieces. I guess I can dump two at next turn anyway. Let's dump. Include imp. And, uh, so I guess if I dump both combo pieces, if I top deck and untap land, I could just win next turn. All right, fair enough. Does she have a flash creature? No, she just doesn't have much of anything. Huh. She has land, but no spells. All right. And I will Cathartic Reunion. Ditch two Stinkweed Imps, I guess. Pass turn. Now half my cards are in my graveyard. Man, she must just be having really bad draws. Pass this turn. 
I guess I'll just draw normally. I don't really need to dredge here. Land for turn. Now I'm gonna go for it, right? Barrel rights on Angel. Okay, counter spell I assume. I cannot pay two more, so nope. Alright, pass turn. I mean, she could technically just have Pestermite into Kiki Jiki here again, and then just win. She's at six mana, but she probably needs to hold up a counter spell. She doesn't have the win immediately. Six mana would let me get past an Is It Charm, but not past Mana Leak. So I guess I don't dredge and hope to hit another land. She plays out Kiki Jiki, but don't I just win now? Because I have a second copy of Unveil Rates in the graveyard, I think. Yeah, I have two more copies even, so I don't I think she just loses. Uh, well, I guess that's not true. She can Lightning Bolt. I will do that. Unveil Rates. Angel of Glorious Rise. I think I have the combo, right? Pretty sure I do. If she bolts Fiend Hunter, she stops my combo. Okay, pass turn. All right, well, I have a bunch of guys on the field. She has Kiki Jiki. Does she have any of her three combo pieces? Any of the three combo pieces win her the game. I mean, Frost Titan might actually stop me too. She could tap down. She could keep three lands tapped down, which would stop the Fiend Hunter I have in hand. She must not have a combo piece. Maybe she has... Let me just draw normally. Like, third Union's not bad, although I think... White, white, black, Fiend Hunter? Mana Leak stops me, and Bolt would stop me again. So she has a Mana Leak or a Lightning Bolt that will get me. She does have Lightning Bolt, that's correct. Seems like a smart move. Um, do a little bit of draining, but that's it. Don't think the Angel needs to block, so I guess it might as well attack here. Then there's a question of no, I don't want to use Fiend Hunter's ability. Um, do I want to play down a guy? Let's play down a Zulaport Cutthroat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not nearly enough. Actually, is it? I guess I can always try reanimating next turn. Hmm. 
Maybe this is going to be enough. Blocks there, so they'll trade, and then I'll do three damage anyway, so that feels fine. Okay, so she's down to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I can do it. All right, well, not exactly how we drew it up, but uh, it got there eventually. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.